Butterfly gon' recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime road. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'ma tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy out there. Thomas Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the fire flies. When you start rapping like that, them late nights and light dinner plates made you know how I feel. Looking at a black woman in her face trying to feel the table. Fuck your Bible. Bitch, I probably sold Cain the same Cain that made him kill Abel. Ah. <laughs> Nigga, we live two what? different like cocaine in your past life was something you might try. They said the, the white you had a whole bunch of white lines. Yo, let me talk to you. <laughs> what y'all like that, bro? Your mama, you got your asses beat. Well, you finna feel right at home. Let me talk to you. <laughs> Yo, 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 you know what I'm saying? Nigga don't sleep. Shout out to nothing but sports on Twitter. You know what I'm saying? They the reason why I even saw GTX, you know what I mean? They the good group, you know what I'm saying? They talk about battle rap and all of that. Nothing but sports. Check them out. And they do power rankings and all of that, man. Good group of folks, you dig? You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, et cetera, et cetera. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. Know who I be. Follow me on IG, Vada underscore fly. Tell your mama I said hi. Salute to my brother from another father who didn't use a rubber. Showtime SP, the nobody that knows bodies. It is his birthday today, so shout out to Showtime SP. A Ward versus Clean Paper Kitchen Clean, whatever you want to call him, uh, went down on GTX. Salute to GTX Autobotos. Salute to them. Um, overall, like I, I recapped the Geechee versus Diz joint. Uh, I did watch the battles. I seen most of them. I'm not gonna hold you. You know what I'm saying? I was on the grind, but I did see a lot of the battles. Overall, pretty good card. Uh, Marv One went kind of crazy for a satire. Satire I hadn't battled in like I heard 12 years. Wow, that's crazy to see him back. But let's get to A Ward versus Clean Paper Kitchen Clean. Respectful, you know what I mean? Um, Kitchen Clean had battled on GTX versus Gucci Gotti. It might have been like a month or so ago. Anyone I had I had kitchen clean clearly winning against Gichi Gotti. Um which was that's a great thing for him. Um to battle he comes out to battle against the A Ward tonight and overall the battle is pretty good. You know what I'm saying? Like I will go through the round, I do got some boss, salute out to my man I M H B Y on Twitter. He definitely be getting all the notes, follow him on Twitter. I be too busy. I, I don't have time to work and then you know I got kid. It'd be busy, busy, busy. So I can't sit down and go note for note for note no more. But I can see him, I can watch him, and I will read them. Um, a Ward was coming into this battle, you know, doing his thing. He's on a tear. He's been running. He don't really lose battles clear, and he got damn near 60 battles. He don't choke. He don't stumble. He don't do nothing. He be clear through. And then he don't curse. To be one of the best battle rappers in the world, there ain't 10 battle rappers better than A Ward right now. You can try. I'm talking about active right now. And there ain't 10, because if you told me 10 battlers that you think are better than A-Ward, he would probably beat half of them. Y'all can call it like you want. I ain't got no ties to no motherfucking league. I ain't biased. I don't give a shit about no URL, no, uh, no fucking king of the die. I talk about whatever league I want at the time, which is why I'm here talking about GTX right now. So A-Ward be smoking shit, period. Any league, any name, whatever. Uh, Clean has been having a resurgent year to beat a Geechee Gotti and now to come in here versus an A-Ward. Going into the battle, I did have A-Ward winning because he's just way too complex. He could freestyle, he could rebuttal, he could use different types of flows. And, you know, Kitchen Clean does have jokes, he does have bars, but at the same time, A-Ward is, is the level of pen. So, uh, Kitchen Clean comes out in his first round. Uh, he, he has a line, uh, he says, sit you in the tabernacle. He said, I sold, he said, I sold the cane that made Cain kill Abel as a kid. He said, oh, that was fire. He was talking about he was comparing the black struggle to the white struggle. You know how that goes. But he said, as a kid, I blinked the wrong way at my mama and we got our asses beat. <laughs> he said, the only, he said, your cat got stuck in this tree the only time that you were stressed. He said, a ditch. He said, <laughs> he said, he said, you home, you and your homies used to grab each other's balls and D check. That it was it landed though. He said, uh, they turned your footage on and I went to sleep, snoring as fuck. He said, a uh, big nose on a white boy like Owen Wilson. He said, this ain't a Hellcat, just ride up on some rims. He said, licking off the same ice cream, hitting licks, 
banging Mr. Ice Cream Man. He said, looking for God to tap in Old Jerusalem. Kitchen Clean's first round was probably one of his most complete. He was he had some shit in his first round. I definitely wanted to see what A Ward had in his first round. Uh, a Ward kind of rebuttals it. You had a whole bunch of white lines, and he said, uh, <laughs> you got your asses beat. Well, you finna feel right at home. That was fire. Uh, degenerate like X-Pac, Junkie, he said, so you scratching your neck when you got close to Plex Rock? <laughs> he said, uh, electric, electric to gas stove. I got a drop paper for a kitchen too. That was fire. Uh, he was like, he was like, uh, he said, my wife, he was talking about my wife, talking about the way our, our, our kitchen looks. He said, this is what I did to you. He said, something from a gas stove to an electric stove, my wife. I got a drop paper too. Like he, that shit was fire. You know, y'all know how A Ward flow. Um, great. He said I'm great on both sides. Like uh, Shohatani, that's the uh, baseball player. He said uh, drop Q hit with the pool stick. He said I wanted to be. He said I wanted advice, Lord, not advice, Lord. This the same bull hit kitchen with the kitchen appliance. Even God no paper plane. He said I could fold you up, get swept for kitchen clean. Sound like I'm listening for ready company. Like uh, he said, sound like I'm getting ready for company. Uh, he said, uh, A Ward basic as hell, career problems. He starts to break them down. He had the night night and the histamine line. I've been handling clean performances my whole career. Uh, first round, I edged to A Ward. I felt like A Ward did get the first round. You know what I'm saying? Clean paper. Should, he had some moments in his first round, but I had A Ward winning the first round. Second round, clean, had some material, but like honestly, he, he cut his round short and he started to like get choppy in it. So I mean, I'm not really gonna go line for line for line because A Ward clearly got the second round. Uh, I'll look for any real highlights um, in A, I mean, in clean's first round. I mean, second round, uh, only white to smack. He said, uh, lose third ward like Katrina happened. He said, Gail on the screen. He said, he a Christian, I'm a Lord, you just pray to me. Uh, yeah, so his second round was cool, but he, he it didn't have the first round and it didn't have none of his battle with Geechee in it. I'm just being honest. That that spark was not there. Uh, Ward comes out in his second round and he just starts bombing. Uh, potential uh, every saw it and clean like a drunk like a drunk draw. He said, yeah, every every saw in it kitchen like the drunk draw. Uh, they had everything for kitchen. Yeah, he said I had everything in it for kitchen. Went from bed, bath, and beyond. I like that line. Uh, he said, I put that on, he said, uh, he take other people delivery. I put that on the ring. I put that on the ring camera, you know, take people's delivery, the ring camera line. Uh, he had, uh, the line about, uh, the career. He had a career parallel angle line. He said, uh, he said the Kim possible line. That was fire. Uh, Pat stay. He called out Pat stay. He said, this a walk through intentional walk here. Free, free base. He said, take frack for the culture after I clean break. A Ward was just wild in his second round. In Clean's third round, uh, he had a line about your mama was sucking D to put you through Bible school, Holy Ghost. He said she was sucking the, out of it. Uh, he said uh, he started reading the scripture is pointless unless it's at your funeral. He said I rolled up a, a, and poured a full green beam on his Glock with this little light of mine. I like that joint. Uh, he said uh, he had a line about. I got a 30, and if I let off three, that'll be 27 Psalm, 27 on Palm. That was fire. Um, he had that line too. Uh, he had the Kurt Franklin line, the Christian hit. Uh, I went to church every Sunday as a kid. Uh, he said you got baptized before. <laughs> this was that was a nice one. He said you you ever, <laughs> he said you ever got baptized before? I don't know why you ain't ever did shit. You know, ugly. You know what, dog? You know what I don't like about you, dog. He said you got baptized. I don't know why you ain't never did shit. I like that. Uh, I wear this dicky suit until the weather breaks. Serve it off the porcelain. That was my collection plate. Uh, that was uh, kitchen clean second round, which was it was. I mean, third round. It was better than his second. To me, the first was probably his best round of the battle. Uh, Ward comes out in his third. Now I'm seeing what he's going to do. Is he going to coast? Is he going to take his foot off the gas? Or is he going to try to uh, bring this thing home? So he comes out in his third round. He says, uh, he had a trick trick rebuttal line. He said, uh, you had to go every to church every Sunday as a kid. I would have been mad too because, you know, he was clean. He said he had to go to church every Sunday. So then Ward rebuttaled it. He said, uh, none of them names don't phase me. He said, uh, you know how long <laughs> I had to hang out with car thieves? He said, uh, he cracked out, 
and I know a hard fiend smell better than darn <laughs> than darling snail. Uh, beating me is harder than getting you to show up to a small league. He starts getting this. <laughs> beating me is harder than getting you to show up to a small league. That was fire. Uh, all over the green like vinegar red. That was fire. Uh, the nation going. The nation going to see what I administer next. Call himself a lord and take people money and don't answer you, Brandon Roy. That was a fire line. Uh, he said, show love on Gotti Block. Need a safety, Ronnie Lott. I'm the dream team. Don't play me. He said, I get Coach Daly because Coach Daly was the coach of the dream team. I like that. Uh, he said, buy a shotgun, turn kitchen clean to an open concept. Put cleanliness next to godliness. I got A-War 3 Um... And I mean, I gave y'all, I want to give y'all some bars and shit, but honestly, A Ward had the freestyles, he had the rebuttals, he had three clean rounds. Uh, Kitchen Clean's first round to me was one of his most complete rounds. If anybody tries to argue anything, just in my perspective, I feel like they could probably argue the first. But uh, I do have A Ward winning. Now, what I will say about Kitchen Clean on GTX. I do feel like it's a good look for him. Um, he's got a lot of respect because he's showing up, bringing three rounds, you know what I'm saying? He had a slight little you know, hiccup in his second, but that's to be expected because I don't see clean battle like every month. I think his battle with Geechee was probably last month. So when he's battling a little bit more frequently, you may get a hiccup every now and then, but uh, overall, I do like the platform for him. I do like seeing him battle on there. I would love to see him battle against a Chef Trez and some of the other guys that they have over there. Uh, but A Ward is just A Ward. Like, period. Now, it was, he had moments in his third that was super crazy. His first was good. His second was straight two. It's not the best version of A Ward I've seen. I'm not going to sit there and jump out the window and be like, yo, this is the best version of A Ward I've ever seen in my life because it wasn't. But at the same time, when I watched it, from beginning to end, theoretically, I feel like he did enough more than enough to win on a night like this um and like i said there were some other really good battles on the card that chef trez versus the Sora is is a is a good battle you know what i'm saying like i i liked it i didn't um sit down and get all the notes and all the other shit because i was taking care of some stuff but that was a good battle uh satire versus marv one was a good battle excel versus reverse live was a good battle uh, and then um fate had a battle too you know what i'm saying his battle was good too i keep forgetting who he battled this shit happened earlier than that i don't remember uh, oh, Young Cannon. Oh, Young Cannon, bro. This mother. Yo, Young Cannon be. I don't know. I know he don't get the respect that he deserves. You know what I'm saying? I feel like, you know, people be getting on him for all types of shit, whether it be how he dresses and shit like that. I don't be worried about how no grown man dresses. I know how y'all be doing. Y'all be on the, on the joint. Oh, your shirt is this. Oh, your hat is that. Like, it be. It, I know how y'all niggas are, but I really don't give a fuck how a grown man dress. I'm here for raps only. Um, That was a very, 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 very good look for uh, Young Cannon because he did his thing. I liked it. Oh, B Magic vs. Pass happened. Uh, I liked B Magic tonight. Like, I know every now and then, it ain't gonna happen often, but every now and then, you know, he 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 gonna, he gonna bring it. And tonight, he definitely did his thing. Uh, like I said, salute to GTX, RX was up there doing her thing, Beats Gatlin was up there, you know, they was doing the um, in between the battle shit. But uh, overall, I wanna hold y'all, A Ward is still winning. At a high level, too. He's not even having debatables. Like, he's having clear wins. Like, this is a clear win versus a, uh, not a great, just a eye clean paper tonight because, like I said, his second round, he might have rapped for like a minute and 40 seconds and then he just like cut it short, you know what I'm saying? But uh, respect to him, you know what I'm saying? Like, we ain't the best of friends, they ain't my buddy, they ain't my pal, but I don't got nothing negative to say about him, you know what I'm saying? I only talk about the battles and the battle rapping. And I think, what was it for? He got mad because he was supposed to battle Gichi Gotti. Uh, like last year, I think sometime, or earlier in the year, and it didn't happen, and I made a blog, you know how niggas do. So, you know, he gets, he jumps out of his body and shit, but it's cool. We, we, I don't have no issue with him, you know what I'm saying? I'm good to see him back doing his thing, and like I said, I hope to see him in some more battles and shit like that, but it is what it is. Salute to A Ward. Clean, uh, it, was, it was a win. Win is a win, right? I'd rather take an ugly win than a pretty loss. Gang, gang.